Yeah. Welcome to my window, where I'm transparent enough to let you use your screen to peer into my mind. I so boom. I've noticed recently that people have been trivializing the definition of God. What a God is. Like it's either TV shows exaggerating the power levels of mortal beings like The Flash or Dragon Ball Z, or entertainers like Charlemagne the God or Ugly God or Ski Master Stump God, or stuff like that. And the reasoning they give for these things is either convoluted or just straight up ignorance. Like, I don't think people really understand the magnitude of what being God really means. So I'm literally illustrating what I think it means. And I'm trying to put it into perspective. God is not just an extra normal or super normal being. If one is truly God, they have little to no limitations. And many laws of reality do not apply. Furthermore, hold on, like on earth, right? There are literally billions of people, each with an uncountable number of cells or bacteria, and even more molecules within those, and even more atoms within those molecules, all working together to be able to sustain the lives of each individual which has them, right? Each individual person. Now on a broader scale, the earth which houses all these billions of people is big and wonderful but even in comparison to the Saturn it's like 760 times smaller in volume and even Saturn is 746 million miles away even to travel across our whole solar system would take about five hours at the speed of light in comparison to the one and a half seconds light travels from earth to the moon now, if you also take into account that our solar system is only one small point in our galaxy, and to even travel across that galaxy from one point to the other, it would take about two million years at the speed of light. You begin to realize, okay, maybe we're kind of small, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Take into consideration that our galaxy is one in a billion, none of which are the same size. And the sheer diameter of this observable universe, right, is overwhelming. There are planets like Super Saturn, which is 40 times the size of our Saturn. And it has 30 more rings that span 200 times the size of our Saturn's seven rings. Well, that there's a whole planet made up almost completely of diamonds. Then you understand what lurks in our plane of existence. Mind you, this is only within the confines of the observable universe. How much more the unobservable, beyond the edges of what we can see or sense. There are even planets that are inhabitable or inhospitable just because they are a tiny bit too close or too far from their sun. Or if they aren't, their sun's rays are practically poisonous. So in comparison to our Earth, it's almost a miracle we even exist. When you think about the chaos theory, which is basically the butterfly effect, right? Like we could seem to have sunny skies for the next few days in New York, but if a tiny dust particle forms, I don't know, say in somewhere in Connecticut, and gets caught up in a cloud formation, it's possible that it would ruin the whole forecast for the next few weeks. So circling back to us, we are made up of tissues and organs, which are made up of cells, which are made up of molecules, which are made up of atoms, right? One atom is a million times smaller than even the thickest human hair. And not all atoms are even the same size, so there may be bigger or smaller ones as well. So what am I trying to say here? In terms of sheer size, we are to the universe what the atom is to us. We are that small and minuscule if you have people claiming to be gods and goddesses, capital G. <laughs> Some are even twisting the meaning of the Bible to do it. Imagine an, uh, an Adam claiming the title and capabilities of a human. Yet we, who should be insignificant, we call ourselves masters of creation. What a joke. We need to humble ourselves. We shouldn't even matter, yet the real God, the creator, the real creator looks down and still cares about you, even when he doesn't really have to. It's 
overwhelming to grasp, I know, which is why I understand why some may view faith as an incredible gamble, because we should be insignificant. But with all this creation in mind, I believe it is a painting, it is a painter. It is a building, it is a builder. It is an invention, it is an inventor. It all seems too carefully crafted for me not to want to roll the dice and take a chance into believing that there's a creator for all this creation. Kendrick Lamar said it best when he said, I'd rather not live like there isn't a God, just to die and find out there really is. Think about it. Raise your peace, y'all.